Good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Alex Garcia. I'm a software support specialist over here at Distributor Central. Uh, today's webinar, we're going to be going over um, how to create a quick and easy website. So let's say that this will come in handy for those who have um, newly signed up with Distributor Central, if you're new to Distributor Central, or if you've been with us for a while and you're using us for you know, product research, order management, uh, presentations, that kind of thing on the back end. You can also take advantage of our free websites that we offer. So we offer a website, um, you can link a domain to it. Uh, you can, um, if you don't have a domain, you don't need one, uh, we'll provide a URL for you and you'll see that here when we go over an example. Um, our websites also come with uh, free SSL certificates. So what that means is that your entire site will be secure. So today's webinar is gonna be a short, quick one, just kind of show you guys how to get in there and uh, get that website going, uh, pick from our templates and kind of upload your logo and, and we'll take it from there. So once you log into your Distributor Central account, you'll come to your home page, which you see right here, which is called the Product Central page. This is where you're gonna do a lot of all your backend work. So find out who the supplier is, you know, net pricing versus retail, all that good stuff. But also what it lets you do is get into uh, creating a website for yourself. So if you come over here to the left-hand menu and you go down to websites on the left and then click on hosting manager, here you'll see what we call our website list. So in the hosting manager, and you can create as many websites as you want, you'll have the list of all your websites here and it'll show websites that are active, currently active, and you can see right over here where it says active, and so if you have that green check, you know it's active, or if you've made them inactive. So an example of this would be, for instance, if you built like, let's say maybe you build a website for the season, so Christmas, you build a website revolved strictly around Christmas, and you only want it to be available online through the Christmas time or the holidays. You can create that website, have it available during Christmas time, and then once Christmas time's over, come in here and click on the green check, and it'll make it inactive, so no one it won't show up online anymore. And then once it comes again for next year, you can click it active again, just update the products or just any website. So mostly websites are used for obviously your main company, um, just to give something to your customers. That way they can do the research, they can contact you and let you know what kind of products they're looking for. Um, if you're looking to do like a niche site, uh, maybe you're focusing on chocolates or candies, you can customize your site to anything you like. You can create it so it only has certain products on it, uh, certain suppliers' products show up on there. Um, if you want everything, by default, the websites are going to come you know, loaded with um, the suppliers, all the suppliers and the products, but then you can then customize it down to your liking, um, whether, like I said, you wanna do a niche site or if you have a list of suppliers that you currently work with and you only want their products to show up, um, or you could even do a company store and you'll kind of see an example of that when we go over the templates here. And also, as I mentioned earlier, customer presentation is another way to take advantage of our websites. So once you have a website, which you see I already have one here, this is how it's gonna look when you already have created one, but we're gonna show you how to actually create one. So I'm just gonna come up here to the add new website button in the top right, click on that. And as I scroll down here, you'll see exactly um, the templates that we offer. So right now we have about 20 pre-built templates. So you don't have to be a website designer, you don't have to know, be a graphic artist and know all that information to be able to create a nice website to send to your clients. Um, so you can look at the pre-built uh, websites that we have and you can see all the different types of uh, designs that we've created. And I'll just kind of scroll down through here. And like I said, if you do know, um, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, you can even start from blank template and go from there. But for everybody else that, you know, just looking for something to get a nice website up for their customers, you can see all the templates here that we have to offer. 
And as I'm scrolling down, you'll notice on the top left, it tells you what the name of each template is. And then you can also preview it to see how it looks and functions. And we'll preview one here in a second. So let me go back up to the top here and we'll preview uh, Inspire. So if I preview it, it's live. So this is how it's gonna look um, with all the catalogs. You can see there's catalogs on there. There's uh, images on there, graphics, all kinds of stuff. So it's not, we've already taken off the hard work for you and put it all, put all the content on there for you. And you could always go in and customize it and make it your own. Uh, but this just gives you like a base of something to start with. And all these websites are connected back to your Distributor Central account. So once you create the website, um, it'll be locked into your account. And then any orders or anything that's placed on the website will be connected to your Distributor Central account. And we'll kind of go over that here in a little bit too. Uh, but you can see you can preview any of the websites, take a look at them, see if you like them, and then kind of go back and, and decide which one you want. As I mentioned earlier, the customer presentation template website. So this is going to be used for if you're trying to send a presentation to your customer. And there's multiple ways to do that. Um, and if you've attended previous webinars, you know that you can do that through the product list tool, um, which is in the product search. And then you go in there and you actually pick the products. You can email them to your customers. You can send quotes. But you can also send a customer presentation. So that entails creating a catalog and basically creating this customer presentation website, and it sends it right to the website. So we tried to make it as user-friendly as possible where you can actually get in there. All you'll do is upload your customer's logo um, at the top, and then you'll pick the catalog that gets loaded on the site. You'll send it to them, and they'll have their own custom URL for a customer presentation. And so this would be mostly used more like a catalog. So it's not going to have the Order Now button on there by default, so they won't be able to place orders but they'll be able to contact you um, and request more information on any of the products that show up on that site um, if, they if they have additional questions for you. And I also mentioned a company store. So if you have clients that, you know, let's say, we usually say company store, the best you can do is 20 products or less, and that's pretty solid company store. Um, and so with that, we tried to simplify it, make it easy for you guys with a company store template. And you can see it's pretty similar to the, customer presentation template, but some of the preferences and there's a lot, there's a couple more options on the actual company store. But same concept, you build a catalog for your customers of, of the products that they want uh, displayed on their website, upload their logo, and then you have, you're able to provide them with something um, for a company store. And then like over here, if you look at the streamline, you can see that this one's more focused on the sports uh, activewear type of thing. So a lot of different templates out there that we have that focus on different things, um, you know, different varieties of them. Uh, you can see Dynamics got a lot of, uh, it's got a big photo in the background and a lot of uh, different stuff to go with it. Today, we're gonna focus on uh, Powerful Promotions is gonna be the one we're gonna go with in the demo here. So when you're ready to pick your website, you'll just click Use This Template. And now from here, it's gonna take you through the three steps to complete it. So you're gonna to have to name your site and then pick your folder name. So as I'm naming my site, uh, let's say that I'm just gonna call it uh, Demo Demo Inc. So you can see as I'm typing it in, it's automatically picking a folder name based on what I have. You can change this to whatever you want. Um, so if I didn't want it to be the same as here, I could change it to whatever I want and it will actually check in our database to make sure that is available. Because what you're doing here is you're creating your basically your URL for uh, your website, which you'll see down here. So if I left it the way it is right now, you would see that it would be demo-inc.dcpromosite.com. And that would be the link that I would send out to my customers until if I decide I want to map a domain to it or something like that. So the next step is I'm going to upload my logo. So I'm going to come to basically pulling off of your uh, desktop on your computer or wherever you're currently uh, looking at where your images are. So I'm going to grab one here, click open, and it's going to load it for me. And then I'm going to click just one more step. And so now you see I'm on step two with personalize. And from here, you can kind of see the template you've picked. You can see the personalization so far. So right now my website name, uh, Demo Inc., and then my actual 
folder, which is your URL that you could send to your customers, and then the logo I chose. At this point, if you want to change the template, this would be the best time to do it um, because you don't want to create a website, change all the content, and then try to change the template. This is the best time to do it now if you decide you want to do another template. And that way you create less work for yourself. And then I'm just going to simply create, create my website and it's going through the steps. So now I'm done. I can either view my new site, which we'll do here. I can customize it, which takes us into the website editor. Um, I can map a domain like we talked about earlier. So if you don't want to use the .dc promo site, you can use your own domain or I can create a new, I can create another website. So we'll go ahead and view the site real quick. So you can see it's basically the same thing currently that the template offered minus my logos on there now. So it's getting a little bit more customized and all these websites are connected, like I said, back to your distributor central account. Um, and they're all e-commerce enabled. Um, so if you have a merchant account through authorized.net, uh, PayPal, PayJunction, or Stripe, you can integrate your API login information and do all your transactions through Distributor Central, you know, invoice your customer, um, send them invoices and or take payments over the phone, uh, all different kinds of things you can do there. But let's say you want to get in there and you want to customize it a little bit more. So if I go back to my, I just went back to my dashboard here. If I go to my home page, and we'll just say, we'll do it like if we were logging in again at another time, like say we logged in tomorrow, and it's like, all right, let me see what I can do to start, you know, trying to customize a little bit. Maybe I want to update the colors. So we'll show you a quick, real, real quick how to do that. So if I go to websites, hosting manager, now I should have two in the website list, which you'll see here, and they're both active. So if I wanted to inactivate one, I could do that. I'm going to click manage over here. And then I'm going to click edit. And this is going to take us into the website editor. And so as you're looking at the website editor, you'll notice here at the top, first thing we'll talk about is these websites are responsive. And so in the past, and I know you guys have seen this before, but there's been many websites out there that you've seen, that you've gone to, and they're not mobile friendly, they're not tablet friendly. You're sitting there and you haven't, they only have a desktop version. So you're pinching and you're zooming on the actual website. With our websites, they're responsive. And so if you look up here, you see the different platforms. So you'll have your desktop, your laptop, your tablet, and also your mobile. And so it's automatically gonna transition down, but you can even go a step further and you can determine how it will look on each one. So if, if I didn't want my logo to be this, you know, showing up on the uh, cell phone, or maybe I didn't want all these uh, links to show up on the cell phone, I could have it hidden where only uh, they would show up on the tablet and then the, the laptop and then also the desktop. So different things you can do there. Uh, one quick thing I want to show you uh, to kind of wrap this up, and like I was talking about with the um, – being able to customize it and not knowing, you know, have, having to know CSS, HTML, anything like that, is once you're in your website editor, if you come over here to the settings tab at the top left, and you come down here to where it says global theme, you can see currently it's on uh, powerful theme. So from there, if you click on it, you'll see all the pre-built themes that we've already um, set for you guys. And so with this, you can kind of scroll down and you can look like, let's say that I wanted to change everything to black. I can go starter black and you'll see it automatically updates. I didn't have to know any coding or anything. Uh, maybe I want to change it to uh, gray. I can change it to gray and get a different look. Um, so you can play around with all these different pre-built settings that we have. Uh, there's even one down here called Yeti. So, you know, that's kind of close to what I have now. So maybe I want to go with that. And so any changes you make to your website, you just wanna make sure to save it. And then once you're in your website editor, you can click live preview. And when you click live preview, it's gonna, your website's live. Any changes you make is automatically going live once you click save. And then you can see right here that uh, the website's been updated just within you know less than 30 minutes. We've created a website, added our, our logo, and changed the color theme of it. Um, you know, is quickly and easy within uh, 30 minutes. So just wanted to show you guys that, you know, real quick, let you guys know. And uh, if you guys have any questions at always, as always, call us 
888-516-7401, or you can email us anytime at info at distributorcentral.com. Uh, stick around for a little bit and answer some questions that I see in the chat. Um, and then I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.